Maxime Bernier, first of all, it's good to see you again. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. coming to speak with me. Um, who are you looking to attract to the, the new party, the People's <laughs> Party of Canada? People who are fed up with the way that uh, some politicians are doing politics in Canada. You know, uh, I'm authentic. I'm telling the truth, what it will be good for this country based on real reform, bold reform policies. And I think uh, we can attract a lot of people, like ending corporate welfare. It is very popular with the people from the NDP. They don't believe in corporate welfare, so they can come with us. Uh, when I'm speaking about balancing the budget and, and having a fiscal responsible government, and I think the people who voted for Jean Chrétien and Paul Martin, uh, these kind of liberals, I think they, they, they will come to our party. And also the 30%, 30% of Canadians that they don't vote at every election. Last time, 30% of Canadians didn't, ha didn't take the time to go to vote for the federal election, the last federal election. So these people, they want to change and they want something new. So, and also the conservative, I hope that we'll have a lot of them because, you know, I'm very serious about conservative ideas. So, but, but it, Andrew, so yeah. and, and Andrew Shear says, you know what Andrew Shear yeah. says, that this is just Max Bernier trying to raise his own profile. He didn't like losing <laughs> the leadership race, that this is all, and it doesn't do any, he's not the only one, doesn't do any favors to split the conservative movement. Shear yeah. says it, other conservatives say it, what I'm Brian Mulroney says it. What, what, what I'm saying to, to them, is, you know, look at what we're doing. We didn't start that party and we are at 15, 12 percent in the uh, in, uh, in the polling when, when you are polling. Now we have a party, we had a head office, we, ha we have an organization. We'll do some announcement a little bit later about the details of our organization. Uh, and I'm saying to them, in six months from now, you're going to look between us and the conservative. And if you want to be sure to uh, vote for the real alternative to Justin Trudeau. I bet it would be us. So you, you, you think that you'll start a new party, that you'll, you'll draw so many maybe small C or big C conservatives away that you'll actually be the conservative party. But also, the, you'll, you'll be the alternative? Uh, not. The alternative of, of the Trudeau government, and, uh, but not only conservative, but people that like our ideas uh, and want to have real debates in Canada. We don't have real debates in Canada on the equalization, for example. I'm the only one to speak about right, that. You've, you've, you've also talked about immigration. It's one of the main policy planks of, of your new, new party will be uh, reducing immigration levels. And, and it's and a policy with all the other policies. I, it's not new. I said that during the leadership. What I'm saying is I'm against mass immigration. And uh, this party has been, been built by people, Canadian and, and immigrants. And I will I welcome that. But I want just to ask having a debate about that. Yeah. We need to have people who come to this country that will share Canadian values and being able but, to have a job. But what evidence do you have that the people who are coming to Canada now don't share the values? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. We What's the problem? That's a good question. I don't want us to have a problem in 20 years from now. Let's have this debate right now. Why the Trudeau government, they want, they're having right now 310,000 mm -hmm. people coming to this country. And a lot it, of the it, experts it, say it should be 450, 450,000 yeah, to, to be able to support yeah, the economy and jobs. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying the opposite. I'm saying let's have the debate on the number and also having a debate about the, the ratio that we're doing right now, we have economic immigrant, we have refugee, we have reunification of family. Why not a little bit less of the last two and more on economic immigration? And people who are coming that must share Canadian values. And I'm saying that in the past, that was the case, and that's great. No, but but I, keep, want you, that, I want that to be the case you, also you for keep, the future. You, you keep coming back to you want people to share Canadian values. Yes. What do, you, what do you point to that says they're not sharing Canadian values? Are no. you saying we're taking a lot of immigrants in that don't share Canadian values? No, no I'm, I'm saying right now, you know, this country has been built by immigrants who were sharing and still share Canadian values. So let's be sure in the future, let's just focus on what unites us and not what, what, what divides us, you know. We're, diversity, it is good, but we must promote more what unites us as a country. Okay, so what, what would you have, a values test? I mean, this goes back to Kelly Leach. Yeah, I don't know. You, do you support that? Let's have a values test. I don't and, know what would be the solution. I'm opening the debate right now. No, but I, you want to be a leader of the country. Yes. Lead the debate. Yeah, I'm leading don't, the debate. Don't wait for what other no, people no, no, say. I'm what's lead, I'm what's your the view? Debate. Do, you want, do you want a values test? 
I don't know right now if it will be the solution. And I'm asking Keynesian what would be the best solution. Uh, let's have this debate about the, this debate about the numbers of immigrants, about the, promoting our Canadian values, what we must do, and also being sure that we'll have Canadians who come, uh, immigrants who come here, uh, here and have a job. That's important. It's good for us, but it would be good for them also. So I'm opening that debate. I'm the only one who's opening that debate, and I want people to help me to find the right solution at the end. Great, what but people be? want to know where Maxime Bernier stands. Yeah, so you they, want, they, you they want, you 250. Want, I, it was very clear. Yeah, and you I want said, more economic immigrants and less reunification. Yes. And less refugees. But we have to. But if we want to have more economic immigrant, we must have less of the the the, the, the others. So right. what would be the ratio? I don't know. Let's have that discussion. But we're taking. You think we have too many refugees now? I think I think we have too many refugees, and we must focus more on the need of our country. And we need, like you said, we need economic immigrants. Well, yeah, but that's what you say. And, you, and, you, yeah. and we need and, and we need also uh, immigrants that uh, uh, refugees, uh, real refugees. The government was saying last week that 40 percent of them they will have to go back to their country. So let's help real refugees. That's important. Let's have this debate also. Are you concerned about uh, 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 that that's how your party will become identified, that you, you might attract people who, who, who are anti-immigrant, maybe even racist, and what are you doing to stop that? Are you worried about that? Are you, what's the message no, you want to clear. say to people? It's clear. These people are not welcome in this party. They're not. You know, I'm not anti-immigration, and they're not. So this, this uh, party is built on a lot of policies on the tax policies, having a flat tax for businesses, ending corporate welfare, mm -hmm. uh, having two tax rate for Canadians. Uh, we have a lot of reform. Uh, uh, speaking about the equalization, it is unfair that the Canadian, that, that it's an unfair uh, uh, policy and it's not fair for provinces who are paying and provinces who are receiving. So let's have a debate about that. That's, that's what I want to do. I want to have real debates in Canada and it's time to have this debate. Uh, on, just back to the immigration for a second, because I want to ask you, you talked about more economic immigrants. Yes. Because, and you know the experts have said, uh, an expert advisory panel said, we could have 450,000 immigrants here if we want to maintain our social programs and maintain, uh, fill those jobs that are not being filled by Canadians. Do you support, would you support higher immigration if it was just more economic immigrants? We, th that's one of the criteria. Uh, having people who are coming to Canada and, and we, want, we want them to have a job. But also we want to focus on the integration, that's important also. These, we, we, are, we are listening to these experts, but why not listening to the population also? 49% of Canadians are saying that we, having, we are having too much immigrants, 49%. And you believe that? For sure. I said okay. we must go back to what we did under our per government. The, the average was 215 new Canadians every year. That's what I said. We must go back and we must have a discussion about it. Okay. Uh, what about what about uh, universal health care? Yeah. Where do you stand on that? Do you want to maintain we, universal health care? Sure. Should there be more private health care? For sure. It must be universal. Every Canadian must have the opportunity and the right to uh, have health care when they need it. And, and like in Europe, like in France, like in UK, like in other countries, when you have a mixed uh, delivery of civil services, private and public. So I believe in universality, yes, for sure. But more a bigger role in delivery by pr private companies? B bigger, bigger role, that would be, it's not a federal jurisdiction, it's a provincial jurisdiction, that, and, and they will have to decide about it. But I think, you know, it would be good to have more choices. Okay, uh, let me ask you, I mean, Conservatives had a choice in the leadership campaign. Yes. And they, they, they almost chose you, but they didn't. They chose, they okay. chose Mr. Scheer. Yeah. W what makes you think a bunch of them will suddenly abandon the Conservative Party to join Max Bernier's new party when they had a choice of what you were offering and they chose something different? Yeah, but, you know, I, I had a lot of support in that party, like you said, 49%, and, and I hope that a lot of them will come, and, and some of them are coming right now. So, but I don't want to be... Any build. big names? Are you going to announce any big conservative names that are joining? It will, or, it will, it will be the next announcement. It will come. We're gonna, we, we are doing what we are doing right now. So we just created the party, and we had the head office. Everything is ready. So the next step will be to announce the executive of the party and people around me. Yes, we'll do another announcement about that. All right, Maxime Bernier, the People's Party of Canada. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Thank you.